guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Okay, something oriental I was thinking, okay, so Kung Pao chicken, I've had that at restaurants, uh, never made it, so I looked at uh, the sauce to make that stuff, the ingredients, and I have it all, so I was excited about that. Uh, I don't have the right uh, ingredients that they do, like with peanuts and stuff like that, but I do have uh, water chestnuts, so that's what I'm going to do. You use whatever you got. You don't have to freak out if you're missing something, you know? That's my motto anyways. But the sauce will be spot on, I think. So let's go. You guys ready? Okay. Eat you. All right, guys. Here I have three uh, chicken thighs that I cut in little strips. Uh, cut the fat off it as much as you can. Some of it's still on there. Who cares? Who cares? All right. So I've got a tablespoon of soy sauce. Please don't use uh, Keiko Men's. This stuff is not good. Okay, uh, I've got a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And then I have a teaspoon of sesame oil, roasted sesame oil. Get every little bit in there. And I have two teaspoons of cornstarch. Let's mix this up first. Make sure everything's mixed up before I put the cornstarch on there because that'll stick right to the chicken. All right, so here's cornstarch. I'll put the recipe down in the description in case you miss something, or you can translate it if you don't. You don't speak in the English, okay? So let me mix that up, and then we'll go to the next. Right, so the chicken's all mixed up. We're gonna put that aside. Let that sit there for a couple minutes, and we're gonna make the sauce for the uh, for the recipe. Okay, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. I know that stuff is so good, you guys. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. Like that. This is a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And then we have a table, a table, tablespoon, a tea, two teaspoons. Hang on. One teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm trying to get it right. One teaspoon of sesame oil. And then we're gonna put two teaspoons of cornstarch. Mix that up. All right, so let me mix that up and then we'll get All right, started. guys, somebody was asking me on my Facebook page if the, the paddle is really hard to take out. It is at first. I mean, as you can see, it's not that bad right now. At first, when you, when you get it, it's like damn near impossible to get it off there. But after a lot of uses and it's be, it's a lot easier now. So leave the paddle in there. Let's put some uh, Tsang stir fry oil. The best oil. We're going to put uh, probably a good tablespoon of that. Okay. And um, I've got an onion that I chopped up. Not chopped, but whatever. I got some cauliflower to use. It's use whatever is in, this is clean out your vegetable drawer date, okay? Went and got a green pepper outside, cut that in chunks. That. I have a few pieces of bok choy. If you've never had bok choy, you need to, to get, they have this at Walmart. It's not expensive at all. It's really good vegetable. And I think that's it for now. That's all I'm gonna use for now. I'm gonna put some uh, red pepper flakes in there. Yeah, I'm using the old body of things. I buy it in a big container and I put it in a little shaker. So that's what I do. Like it's spicy, so I'm gonna say half a teaspoon. All right, so let's try this up bottom. And the top one, we'll put it at a three. Maybe a two. Let me put it at a two for now until it shrinks up a little bit. All right, guys, so that's probably about eight ten minutes somewhere in there probably eight minutes i'd say i'm gonna bump it up to a three but i'm gonna add something else to this i'm gonna add some uh bean sprouts because i like those it's it, you make it your way you know and um kung pao usually has peanuts i don't have peanuts i had some of these water chestnuts though i love water chestnuts so we're gonna bump it up to a three and fry it up a little bit more i'll let you know how long that was. i got something Let's put some garlic in there. I got three cloves here that I minced up. I'm gonna put that in there. And um, I, I thought I had ginger. I don't. 
but I have uh, ground ginger. So I'm gonna put a quarter, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon in there. So usually I use fresh, but I can't find it. I looked everywhere. So we'll fry that up a little bit. I'll let you know how long. Alright guys, we're at the 10 minute mark. And I'm going to put the chicken in there that's been marinating in that stuff. It smells good already. I can smell garlic and ginger. And that uh, tang stir fryer will ha has uh, garlic and stuff in there already. So that helps a lot. So I'm going to cook this uh, still on three. Um, I'll let you know how long I go. I'm just going to look at it and see what we have. That was another 10 minutes, and that chicken is cooked to perfection, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. You know what's nice is that I just put that stuff in there, and I went and did what I got to do and come back. I don't have to stand in front of a pan and stir it. So there you go. Here is the sauce. The hoisin stuff sauce there. Now, everything is pretty much cooked at this point. This is good. 25 minutes or so I put it on a three but if you don't want to do it so fast you can I'm gonna put some of these green onions there just for color save some for the t for the presentation so we're gonna fry that for a little bit I'm gonna turn it down to a two again so let me do that for five minutes or so right, that was five minutes just to stir it up together we're gonna call it done there's my rice Wow, that looks delicious. Look at that. Would you just look at that? Whew. So, I'm going to plate this up and we'll be back. All right, guys, let's give this a try. I'm going to try it with that rice because we know what rice tastes like. So, got some bok choy. Let me grab a water chestnut and a piece of chicken. Here we go. It's going in. See the steam? Woohoo! Hmm. Delicious. Delicious. That's all I could say. Water chestnut. Yum. I mean, you're supposed to put peanuts, but I prefer water chestnuts. Just so you have a little crunch in there. Vegetables are cooked to perfection. Everything's awesome. That chicken is so tender. You have no idea So there you go guys. We did something. Thanks for shopping. Bye